In this tutorial you will learn about props and environment. So to get started let's go to set and let's first add in a terrain. Notice there are many different templates for terrain but in particular I want to use this one. So I'm just drag and drop it into the scene. If you wish to remove the terrain just simply click on remove. But we want the terrain so let's bring it back. Now notice the textures for the terrain is very very good. If yours doesn't seem to be as clear cut as mine you can just go to preferences and then change the real time map size to a higher setting. I set mine at the highest but you can set it to whichever is best for your computer. Next let's add in a sky. So to do so just make sure you go to set and then sky and then choose a template. I'm just going to have clear day. Next we can add in water. So just click on water. I'm just going to grab this water and add it into my scene. And I'm going to change the height from 50 to maybe 900. And I can press play and now I can see my water playing at the bottom. Also, we can add in trees and grass. So let's get in a little closer to our scene. So I'm just going to use the left and right mouse button and zoom in. Alright, so let's add in some trees. And then we can just drag and drop our trees into our scene. We can also add in grass. To add in grass, just click on grass. And then we can choose one of the templates. I'm just going to use bamboo. And I'm going to drag and drop it in. And now I have what is called the planter. You can see on the modify panel that I have the planter here. So I can start to plant my, my bamboo around. Also, I can change the size of my radical so you can see it's larger, or I can make it much smaller, as you can see. I'm going to make it pretty big, and I can also change the density. So you notice whenever I drop it in, you can see how it drops all the grass into my scene, but I can even make it more dense, and then whenever I click, wow, that's a lot of grass, so let's get the mower, and we can mow away the grass. Next, let's add in more blocks. So let's go to 3D blocks and let's add in a box. So let's just add in box 003. Once we've added in our box, we want to add in a texture to make it look nicer. Maybe like a concrete box or something. But currently, it's now this just plain whitish gray box. If we go to the modify panel, we can go to the material and texture settings. Here, we can add in diffuse, opacity, bump, specular, glow, or reflection map. There will be a tutorial that dives deeper into each one of these channels to explain more in depth how to use these material channels. But for me, what I'm going to do is we can just load in a material. So we can just grab a material, double click, and now it's a concrete box. Next I want to show you how we can attach props to other props. So I'm just going to grab in another prop, like this box 004. And notice it still has that white texture. So again, I'm going to open up my external textures, just grab a texture, and just drag and drop it onto my prop. Next, I'm going to attach this prop to this prop. To do so, make sure you have that prop selected. Then go to the Modify panel, click on the Section menu, and then go to Attach. Then we can attach that box to the other box by clicking on Parent, and then clicking on that box. Then later, we can move this box using the gizmo and place that box on top of the other. Now when we click back, notice that both of them are attached together. And if you look at the scene manager, now you'll notice that box 003 and box 004 are now part of the same prop. And we can move them both together. And that's the basics on how you can quickly build up your scene in iClone 4. 